Holy cow, gang. You know what I got back there? That's the JJ Jr. from Friedman Amplification. You know, you take the big JJ, put it in a little box with a 20 watt power amp, fine tune it into just badass glory. And that's what you got there. So let's just for a minute assume that what's going to happen is when you buy it, you're going to want to play all your favorite Alice in Chains riffs, right? Of course, like this. And this. And this. And this. let's forget that for just a second. What's really super astounding about this little amp is it's a BE-100 shrunk down to a little 20 watt beast. The JJ Jr. comes with the JJ Head Aesthetic, which is my favorite of their lineup. Uh, the rest is extremely straightforward. Uh, you have power with no standby, which is great. You're ready to go. Presence, master, treble, the mids, uh, also known as middle, uh, bass, gain, and a single knob, simple clean channel. The clean channel is essentially the same clean channel that you would find in the, uh, the Runt 20. Uh, it's terrific sounding. Don't be scared away from just the single knob. There's a lot more to this little one knob clean channel than meets the eye. Uh, so at first, with the bright switch to the left, it's... Uh, what I would think of as just a nice classic sort of uh, clean tone. But yeah. Very nice and clean. The middle, I don't play jazz, but uh, anytime there's a really dark clean sound, I'm like, oh, that's jazzy. So it's a, uh, we're going to call it the jazzy uh, setting. And uh, if you go all the way to the right, uh, you have what I would say is more of like a really modern, uh, super clean, sort of a little brighter, silky, uh, clean tone. Am I still there yet? That's really lovely. Uh, I like that one a lot. Now where this gets cool, uh, I mean, that's fairly loud. I'm gonna turn on my cabinet in the room here for a second so you can see where I'm at, yeah. loud I would think for most human gigs that is plenty loud um, uh, I mean if you have any kind of PA system you are good to go when I played in bands a million and a half years ago everyone was like turn it down turn it down turn it down that's plenty clean and plenty loud I think where the clean channel kind of gets cool is it's got that uh, thing that old one knob amps do where the more you turn it up it just saturates and then it gets just badass so again clean let's turn it up to like 11 o'clock that, that's nice let's go to one o'clock three. 
there's clean headroom up to a point, that 20 watt clean headroom thing. And then after that, it's not like when you have the flame throwing 100 watt clean uh, amps, it just starts to saturate. And this is, this is manageable. Cause it's, it's also, it's not biting, cutting your head off. It's a really nice warm sound. Uh, <laughs> That's great. Clean channel. You know, channel two of the head or the dirty channel or the channel because that's why you're here, right? And you want that dirt. Uh, that's activated with the channel switch on the front panel or a foot switch in the back. Sets you over to the BE mode. Now, if you want to get to that JBE, JBE, oh, that JBE goodness over there, uh, that's activated with a front panel mode switch. So you have your choice on channel two if you want it to be the BE or the JBE which is that Jerry Cantrell modded out tone from the JJ amp. And it's, it's a BE. It's great. The only thing it's missing is a hundred watt howitzer blasting the, all the gain through your face. Uh, at 20 watts, it's very manageable. It records great and, and sounds killer. <laughs> So the BE is one of those like perfect blends where you got all that bite and cut. Also, the notes are feeling nice and chunky. When you get to the HBE, uh, it it puts in the Friedman saturation circuit that's dialed in to give you a little more like uh, down here uh, and a little more uh, right in there. See? Could I make it more clear? You could lower the gain a bit. I mean, why would you want to? But once you get sort of below five, It's a ton of fun to play. I'm going to turn the speaker on here. It's not unbearably loud and it's given up so much juice. That's kind of the wife's not home volume, but um, tone's still there. Awesome. Low wattage rockhead. Gotta check that out. It delivers on all fronts. Absolutely killer. So cool. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the one of the DI tracks I had on the song in the beginning, run you through some more settings on the dirty stuff uh, so you can get an even better feel for the amp. Uh, but do yourself a favor, if you're looking for something badass, go play one of these. See ya. Did I just two thumbs up you? How about these? Pew. A great starting point for this amp is with all of the tone settings at one o'clock, volumes at nine o'clock, and crank the game. <laughs> The 
bass stays really balanced, even when it's set to max, it just makes the, the body of the sound huge. <laughs> over to the JDB mode. There's a volume drop that happens when the saturation circuit kicks in for the JDE mode, so you just have to do a little volume compensating for that. Mm -hmm. 